Hi everybody, I'm doing something different today. I had a 30 minute session book and this is a donation session to share energy healing with the White House. And I was deciding if I would post this on my Abbey Psychic Services channel or Abbey Normal channel. And since this is donated into a sort of a world space, obviously the White House is for the American people, but it's a space that represents America to the world. It's, a, it's an important space. It's an energy center of its own kind. And so I want to share this here on my Abbey Normal channel. And uh, please share your thoughts about my experience or what your thoughts are about the White House. Um, but the goal is to um, go through, do like a home cleansing type, type of experience where we're going to really bring out the angelic energies, Christ consciousness energies, and hear, heal any shadows that have developed there. So I'm going to read the client goals in just a moment. I, I just want to thank you so very much for doing this. I mean, you invested money into a session that you want to give back healing to the White House, which is healing for the world. It's a space that impacts the world and impacts American people. But again, we're all impacted by what it represents, politics and all that. So I want to thank you very much for this. It's very generous of you and for giving me the opportunity to support this vision and then share it here on YouTube so others can follow along and share their experiences or their thoughts about this as well. It's like... a I know, in my mind, I think of, you know, we're all here together, holding hands, singing songs, sharing love. <laughs> Imagine if we could all just, you know, be like a thousand people or a hundred thousand people and we could protest with signs or we could hold hands and sing songs of love. And if we could just wrap a big ring of love around the White House, you know, and we could just sing and we don't have to complain or we don't have to argue. We could just hold hands and just sing songs of love, sing whatever, you know, just send love into that space. It's a space of history, a space of influence. And that sort of image comes to mind. But okay, I'm going to read your goals now. I'm going to get in the zone. And then let's see what comes up and what I can do to really raise the vibration, okay? So you say, Hi, Abby. I would like to donate this session to heal the White House. I've heard there is a demonic portal above the White House. Whether that's true or not, I feel there is a darkness in politics and a darkness in the world. For those who make decisions that impact the many, we need to put love in dark places to shift what we can. The White House is symbolic for many healthy virtues for the American people and the world. I know it can represent a space of sacredness, love, wisdom, and a powerful symbol of freedom. And freedom is a human right that's not allowed in all parts of the world. The White House doesn't vibrate on the level of virtue, and it must represent good and not evil. What is dark must be transformed and replaced by a glow of angelic and Christ consciousness influence. I welcome you to follow your heart with this request to put light and love into the White House and heal what needs healed. Please share if you feel is safe and helpful to do so. Thank you, Abby. That was, that was really well said. Okay. I'm going to relax here. And anything demonic, obviously, if there's a demonic portal above the White House or anywhere associated with it, um, if I'm called to see that, then I obviously want to put love into that space, but just into every crack and crevice and see what we see. So I'm going to relax now and get in the zone. <sighs> okay. Weird. So the White House, we see the White House for its shape and size in the human world. But in the energy world, it's like a city. It's humongous. And there's also a version of it that's upright. And then it has a mirrored line. And there's a version of it that's upside down. And so there's a city that exists upside down and a city that exists right side up. And so you could say, well, isn't that Washington, D.C.? Well, in the energy world, it's like the White House is a humongous city. Maybe it represents Washington, D.C., not just the White House, but the whole space. But this is what I'm being shown. And everything is kind of like the night sky. 
except there's no stars because we have a city upside down and a city right side up. And then we have all these lights in the dark as sort of represent, I don't know, like if you walk in a city at night, you're going to see lights turned on in some places and turned off in others. It's just kind of that feel to it. There, the next thing I'm shown is that the upside down city is actually, uh, there's pressure put on it from above it. And the weight is pushing the upside down version and crushing it into the right side up version. And so it's actually crushing it down into the right side up version and it's starting to create a flat panel. And it's real solid and dense and it's almost like taking a bunch of people and crushing them together. It's messed up like that, okay? Take a million people and literally crush all their bodies and their bones and everything together. Smush them all together. How horrifying, right? So that weight is coming on down, pressing all of this down. Upside down is being pressed on right side up and everybody is being crushed together. It's a mortifying vision here in the energy space but they're showing me that this has happened but this also hasn't happened yet so there's a bit of confusion about well could we stop it um what does that even mean <laughs> i mean like and how is that going to parallel day-to-day -day life in the human world and this is the white house okay the white house is the epicenter of what i'm being shown here your goals how they're written etc take me to this vision all right Okay, I literally, I'm asking God, show me what, what the next step is here. Because when I'm looking at this, it's like, ooh, this idea, like 10,000 ideas, do, 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 It's like, oh man, there's too many ideas. Okay, God, help me with this. So I'm going to chill and let's see what comes to me next. Okay. God says this is really going to turn things upside down, which is a bit of a strange thing to say. It's a bit of a chuckle about it. But I take the upside down city and I turn it right side up. So there's two right side up cities. And then I place it over there. So there's almost like here is a version and then here's a duplicate version. And that's interesting because we have a figure eight. It literally creates this round and then round city space. And that's a figure eight. And the White House is at the center. It's like the epicenter of the city space. And it creates a figure eight, okay? So we have two right side up city spaces. What's weird about two right side up city spaces is it cre it's creating chaos. But this is healthy because it could be the chaos that crushes everybody. But it's the chaos that's confused because everybody getting crushed is not actually happening. So there's chaos because there's still a timeline that says this is happening and this has happened. But there's another timeline where we move things around and now that's not happening anymore. But the energy is still playing out as though it is happening, it already has happened and we should all run and scream for our lives. But no. And what is the big deal here? Why is it, it does feel to me like this White House is just some sort of like, um, what are those giant stone, stone heads? And then they dig down into the ground and they're like full-fledged bodies. <laughs> and it's like, what the heck? There's like a whole thing down there. It's not just like a giant head. So imagine the White House is just the head peeking out from the surface of the ground. But if we were to dig under the ground, there'd be a whole freaking body. And the White House is just the head to a whole massive thing that is like the size of Washington, D.C. And so is it the White House or is it all of Washington, D.C.? And what's weird is when I duplicate Washington, D.C., so we have two Washington, D.C.s, and both of them are right side up, it creates a figure eight, and this is important. This is somehow important. There's some kind of binding around this Washington, D.C. There's some sort of energetic binding, and then it creates the mirror of the upside down and the right side up. And then that binding is going to be changing here. Did I change it, or was it inevitable? I'm not sure. 
But now we've got two and it, when it creates a figure eight, it's already changing the binding. This is big deal stuff, okay? I'm actually impressed because this doesn't just create overnight. What I'm witnessing here and all this energy and this, what the binding of this place, there's an, in the energy world, an upside down version. It's like, wow, how was this constructed, you know? And so we have the White House is like a head and then the massive body is still underneath the ground. And all you can see maybe is the top of the shoulders, perhaps. But this whole thing could be like a giant being could come out of the ground. Okay, that says something. There's something to that. Are they trying to raise some giant influence from the dead, so to speak? Like, um, like an ultimate ceremony that brings to life a dark god. And through the binding and through time and all the weird whatevers that is that have happened the structure of this city that we can't consciously see because there's so many details to it we'd never pick up on it all but really there's like this humongous being that's like buried but it's like coming out of it it's like it, it isn't but i see an idea that wow imagine we we resurrect this massive giant and it resurrects through this binding and this space and etc. and all this time and etc. And then it comes up and out. And then it's like, okay, then what does it do? I don't know, like resurrecting a Thanos or resurrecting a something that has a lot of power to do what? I, I don't know. <laughs> like destroy them and all of us? I don't know. It's like, that's what they want. What do I want? <laughs> I have a choice, you know? Okay. So let me just get, I, I'm like, when I see this, I'm interacting and learning a lot of things. And then I got to talk about it. <laughs> How did I even skim the surface of talking about everything? But let me get back to the whole, the, the, the goal, okay, is to heal the White House. But what is the White House? It's not a house. It's actually just the, the head of a massive something. So for me to heal the White House, I have to heal everything around it and the ground beneath it and the sky above it and an interdimensional space and how it's crushing. And then this version of time versus that version of time and then the energetic bindings and then all this desperate desire to resurrect some freaking weird thing. You know, so it's like, whoa, there's like so much. There's so much to do here. You know what I mean? So, okay, but I still want to achieve the goal. I still want to achieve the goal. It's a solid request. It's an honorable request. It's cool that you did this and that you're asking me to look here and help this space. I say, so I'm telling God, cause I'm just like this, 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 this. and I'm like, uh, where, where, okay. What's the next most important thing in order to achieve the goals? And I'm like that, 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 like Christ consciousness, angelic energy, like influence. How do I bring that influence here? So God has me, there seems to be, um, the binding is like a flow of energy and it's flowing counterclockwise. That's how it looks. Like imagine taking a big black marker and then creating like a liquid that flows counterclockwise always, always flowing. It's just like this black liquid that's always flowing. It just like goes around the city. It just keeps going. It's like, wow, it just keeps going. Okay. Now I'm going to change it to a golden energy and I'm going to stop it from flowing. Oh, this is going to mess up some stuff for sure. Because the energy flowing is also associated with time going backward. It says that's a key ingredient. So time has been going backward on purpose. But, I, 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 okay. <sighs> Who gets to play almighty God? All right, human beings, come on now. So they're doing that to who? And what are the rest of us doing in their weird game, their weird illusionary playground? Are we really associated with this creation here? We're all a part of this together, but there's so much secret stuff. Like, how are we supposed to know everything? 
All right, so when I stop that, it's like um, stopping a machine in a hardcore way and it just jumbles and then smokes a bit, kind of reaction, like it was felt that this stopped. There's a lot of uh, beings, energy beings that are being tortured. Like, imagine having a tortured demon. Where do you even get the demon in the first place? So what is a demon was a soul that was tortured. Let's say a soul of light was tortured and broke under the weight of the torture. And then the soul was demonic now and now torturing demons. This goes next level. I never even thought about torturing demons. But that makes sense because Hollywood talks about, you know, demons all need to go to hell and they need to be burned for all eternity. But that's, that's incorrect because demons are actually pure souls that were influenced or they found another path and then they broke and they lost their way from God or unconditional love. And God wants, it's like God wants his children to come home and God forgives but can you forgive yourself? So there's a lot more of a com complicated matter at hand here when it comes to living a human life and how we endure it and what happens to us in it, what happens to our soul and the sick things that can happen to a soul and how fear can bind you to a nightmare. You become broken in the nightmare, stuck in an interdimensional space and then tortured. It's sick. It's like these souls need to be set free. They need to return to God. And, and again, the, the, I will tell you that the influence for all of this is very weak. So it has been a, a definite requirement for people to be blind because this energy could be uh, dismantled very easily. No wonder people that are psychic are always like laughed at, but you have to be genuine. I mean, there's a like there's a, there's always a range, right? Like people who work from the heart that genuinely care and that are interpreting things at, on another level, like the power, it's a powerful gift to have. It's like being a ta talented musician or a talented Olympi Olympian of some kind or a talented diplomat. Like they so like we have talents and we don't all have to be the same person, you know? So we, we are here for a reason because we're part of a massive puzzle and we need to come together, the United States, because we're united. United by what? Hatred of each other? We all are united in the same belief that we can't stand each other and we should be divided and we're all just racist jerks or whatever. No, we're, we're united in love and support and intelligence, um, inspiration, passion, um, like a, a certain level of humanity that we can be, right? Like you're saying, the White Horse House... White House is to represent a certain level of humanity that we can be. And, and then it needs to represent that. So if it doesn't represent that, then why doesn't it? Well, the influence here that's created all this and stuff has requi a requirement as the rest of the world to be blind. Well, you know, I'm just thinking about this. You have like Lady Justice. Is it blind? Like, isn't she wearing a blindfold? I, I don't know why this image is really bl foggy to me right now. It should be, it shouldn't be. But I see it as a woman with the balancing scales and she has a blindfold. And now I can't recall if she does or she doesn't. But I'm shown blind justice. And uh, that's a serious concern. Because creating blindness in the human race is essential in order to craft and create this binding, this dark space, the torture of souls, then become demons, then torture demons. So there's a lot here, okay? This is very weak energy. It's actually easy to transform. It's as easy as a bunch of us go and we stand in a circle and we sing songs of love and we talk about our loving memories. It doesn't have to be a religion. It, it can just be, you know, I love my kids and I love my parents and I love my grandparents and I forgive the people that have hurt me and I love them too. And it's about the ultimate love and it starts to heal the men, the demons that were never demons to begin with. So demons, I have to emphasize, is a broken soul. They're souls that have an important role at creating challenge, okay? They aren't demons. They're just, 
They represent an energy that is all about change and challenge that comes with change and growth. That doesn't make them a demon, but it's hard to play that role too, okay? And I actually just see souls that are really morbidly looking, transformed, gross, morbid human, like sm smush a bunch of human beings into a single body, mush their souls together, create a globulous agony, and then put it in an energetic cage, and then torture it, and then hear the ple pleasurable screams. Like, it's um, sick like this, okay? It's a monkey circus sideshow messed up demonic sideshow mess, okay? The energy is extremely weak, though. I can't, I can't tell you enough how weak dark energy is. It's all based on fear. It needs people to be blind in order for it to exist. It needs people to be afraid in order for it to exist. So if you stop being blind and you want to say, I want to see stuff even if it's hard to look at, and I, uh, you know, I want to work with love and I want to challenge myself to understand, you know, unconditional love and Jesus and, it, you know, things that are a virtue, you know, there's a lot of good people. There's a lot of good um, representations of intelligence and communication and kindness and generosity and all, all that it goes on and on. And there's a lot of that in the world, a lot more than we're allowed to be aware of. And it lives inside of you and me. It lives inside of all of us. Okay. So as I'm speaking, I'm sort of rallying up all of us, like we're all watching this together. Like I see it, I'm communicating, you're following along with me. But it's also like, it's reminding us that we're awesome, man. We're beautiful souls. We have beautiful light. We have beautiful power. We're united, the United States, right? We, we're united in love. We're visualizing even our, our minds, our consciousness going to the White House lawn and we're just surrounding this building, even if this, this, this is just this White House, right? But how about we get millions of people to surround Washington DC as somehow some way but we could visualize it and then it's real in the energy world because I say I want to be a part of this oh I want to be a part of this millions of us let's say 300 million of us gosh I mean why not people from all over the world why not help each other we could do this for their uh spaces too like there's places like uh, all over the world that need this and so we are standing and holding hands of love and we are now a golden ring of energy, of light that is powerful, influential to this space. What's interesting is I'm, it's, it's all about the original vision of the right side up city. The upside down city is over there, okay? And what's interesting is in my vision, I'm seeing that we're surrounding the ring that then surrounds Washington DC and that there's a ring of people here and there could be multiple rings, right? We can go more rings on into the center. And it's all about love and forgiveness, okay? And we have to set these souls free because these souls have been tortured. Where's a lot of tortured souls here? Okay, so, okay. So, yes, this is happening. So this is happening in my vision. I see this happening. And we're all strong with each other. We're strong united, okay? So we're strong in each other. And we're strong together. We're not strong separate. We're strong together, okay? And so we just love one another. We just, just stand there. And we just like, we're here for a reason. So I just see the, these rings of love, okay? And it's a golden light. And there's a strange time delay, like... Um, I felt time delays before between the human world and the energy world. <sighs> and so I'm feeling like a time delay between what we're achieving here in the session and then what's actually like happening now and how it's impacting the, this physical reality. And I see that there's, um, it's kind of like a, a weird well. Uh, underneath the White House, you could say, like, it just seems like there's a well, um, it's a dark well. And that dark well is like a geyser of just, like, putrid energy. It's just like a toilet backing up. It's like, yes, I want my toilet to back up and flood my whole house with crap, okay? <laughs> it's like, yes, I want a dark well full of demonic crap under my house, and I want to, like, spew it out everywhere so we can, like, have fun and dance in this dark, weird crap, okay? So, uh, yeah, so it's like a geyser down there, and so I'm placing images of Jesus in it, okay? And Jesus is the purest kind of love. And we needed to know about Jesus. In our world, we needed to know. 
or they know Jesus through religion or the Bible or you just like the fact that there's a loving human being that wanted to teach the golden rule and was tortured for it. It just takes a very strong person to be Jesus. Jesus was very strong in himself. He's the purest kind of love we, you know, we know. And there's other purest kinds of love too. And so you could visualize Jesus, like just see just literally like there's a, a well full of black. It's just a hole full of black. It could even be a dark portal of its own kind in the ground. And uh, and just see Jesus' face smiling and waving like, Hello, here I am. This doesn't bother me at all. I'm happy to help because love is a big stomach too. Love is a digester of dark energy. Love is a furnace. Love is God's love. Love is, is forever. It's all time, okay? Love is every single thing. And I see that, uh, man, there's so much going on here. There's so much to keep up with. Just to reiterate, the ring is still there. We're all still holding hands. There's a golden light um, that we em emit. But then there's also this sort of ring of like a river of black or whatever is going backward. Time was going backward. That actually is just a ring of golden light as well. So there's another golden light ring. And then there's other rings of people that are creating other rings of golden light, okay? As we get closer and closer to the epicenter, the nucleus, which is the White House. And so let's say that there, I don't know, the word 11, the number 11 comes to me. It's like, there's the word 11. Okay, I said, oh, it's a number. Yeah, that comes to me. So let's just say there's 11 rings of people holding hands with love and glowing with golden light. And then I see... Down below, there is this well, and so I, I, I'm going to go down in it, but there's this huge sort of like energy that's coming out, and I, I will say, the more we focus on this, this version of the space, the other side of the figure eight, where the other city that was upside down was then placed over there that's also bound, okay, is disappearing, because it never really was the tangible version, it never really was the real version. It was the illusion of chaos, it was illusion of things upside down, and it was becoming real, only in, as real as we chose to believe it, but there is a version of reality where that does collapse, and it, it collapses on top of and destroys people, it crushes people. But that's not this version. So I see that as like disappearing the more love we put in the space, and obviously I'm also looking at gross demonic beings that are in cages being tortured, conglomerations of, of humans that became souls smushed together in dark, disturbing ways and then continue to be tortured in, in, interdimensionally and forevermore, basically, until we would stop being blind and we start caring and put light into this space so we could set this energy free. And this stuff is not hard. It's like, go get your Windex and spray it on the, the window or the mirror and then get a rag and wipe it off. It's like, oh, the toothpaste splatter on the mirror. It's so freaking deadly. No, it's not. Psh, psh, psh. Wipe clean. That's how easy it is to actually clean up this dark energy. But we need to be united. We need to wake up and we need to start putting love into it. We need to understand what love is. We need to understand how love works. Um, because it, it's like, do you really have to think about it? Let's say uh, you have a memory where you just you just love grandpa or you love grandma or you love mom, you love dad or you loved your best friend. Did you really have to think about it? No. That's what love is, right? That's the kind of love we're just here with that love. It, it's not like um, I'm an awesome person and I love strong enough to be here. No, it's like I just am love. I want to help. I'm here to help. I love this this country. I love my, my countrymen, countrywomen, right? I, I love my life here. I love what America stands for. I love the world. I want to see a beautiful world. I want to see um, a sense of freedom for the human race across the globe. Whatever it is, like whatever your love is, like whatever you care about, whatever you value. This is an interdimensional conversation. If we don't understand about how the spirit realm works, it might as well not exist. And then we can let this crap just go on forever. And maybe it's going to be you next time, trafficked into this messed up place, tortured and turned into a weird de demon that's now being tortured. Like, like, this is our brothers and sisters, you know, this is time. So, that's why it's important we care. 
Thank you so much again for this donation. I mean, it's really good. It's really good. I'm following Jesus, obviously. There's like an energy kaboom kind of happening. It just like feels like pressure coming up and out. But I'm um, following Jesus into the dark well, okay? It's just like a clogged throat chakra. It's just kind of what it's like. Um, it's just like a clogged pipe. but um, It's like a, a geyser of cesspool, but it, it's not really. It's just like there was a, a thing that happened, created another thing. We just got to fix it, okay? We just got to fix it. Like, let's not focus on all this. Like, let's just fix it and move on, you know? Like, let's, let's focus on fixing it and then let's focus on moving forward. It's so. It's disgusting. I mean, <laughs> it's just gross. It's like, it's just seeing that what the clog looks like of like gross hair and nasty goo and then eating it. <laughs> this is like eh, eh, throat chakra eh, nasty so I'm not going to resist I'm be like okay I'm going to transmute this nasty energy so I have to kind of like eat it basically like I have to actually not avoid how gross this is so I'm just like sitting in the gross and I'm gagging And there's a bunch of people down here. And I'm just like, oh my God. That what this tells me is that that part of reconciling and healing this is going to require a little bit of discomfort and being safe in the discomfort because nothing's going to hurt you here except your own fears. And you could say, well, what about the human beings influenced by dark stuff? Well, you can be afraid of them, but it's not going to solve anything. That's why united we stand and stop with this blind justice. And we need to open our eyes and start to see because the more of us that come together, the more powerful we are. And it's not about like the protest concept should be turned into people coming together in love. And that is really a vulnerable place for dark energy. When people come together in love is terrifying to dark energy. It really is. I'm so sorry, like, I see all these, like, it's like a, imagine a massive lake of black liquid and uh, people's bodies in this massive lake of liquid and it just, where, are they alive, are they dead, are they in between life and death, are they, what are they, they're not, they're just very cold and numb and uh, there's a silence in the mind of all of this. I wouldn't have, the key to getting here was actually putting that nasty clog in my mouth and tasting it, chewing it, swallowing it, gagging on it, and being okay with it. Because <laughs> it was the only way I could get in here because it wasn't really the clog that was real. What was real is the pain that exists here. And to get to the pain, I have to be okay with the pain in some way. That's unconditional love. It's like, ew, gross, I don't want to go in there. Well, you're never going to go in there then. You, you're literally putting some idea of, I don't want to go into gross places because I'm not a gross person or I don't do gross things, but it's like, well, how did these people get in here? They're part of why it's gross. Because they've been through something gross. I tell God I set these souls free, these people, like, what I... I, like, I don't know how to understand every detail about it, but God um, takes all the 11 rings and then um, seems like connect combines them all into one really strong ring. What is like, you know, the, the one ring that binds them, the one ring? I don't know, it's like a really powerful ring, but it's like a ring of love, not a ring of um, the dark, okay? Like a Lord of the Rings. It's like a God's ring of love. It's a human ring of love. And I, I'm not really sure what's happening, but um, it's being used somehow. Somehow it creates a ring in the heart of every single person down here. And as the ring starts to become more visible in every single person's heart, all different ages here, 
seems more like women and children though seems more like younger ages than older seems more like younger there's not many men here so more i'm starting to see from the glow within the hearts of those who are waking up i start to see these their souls are part of the souls conglomerate demon souls being tortured that they aren't demons at all they just there's another parallel here because there's a, a dark binding for it, it's a pretty dangerous energy space to go into washington dc because for as many tortured souls there's like a a ring there's some kind of ring about it that's why we need to turn the dark ring into a ring of love but it's god's ring of love that brings the souls full circle it brings them full circle and back to the light because i also see people mindlessly acting or mindlessly but not everyone does we have to be really strong to counteract the dark energy here because it could create a ring that influences your heart to become a dark heart um so then you don't have any heart at all right you just kind of renounce your soul or let something animate your body part of this dark ring it's a dark ring is it a physical like is it a dark ring like we're a, a, a type of people that work together we're in the ring together and we're doing dark things and we're in this like full circle and time is going backward etc and but now we're rewriting it we're turning it inside out we're shifting it and we're turning the dark ring into a ring of love and light so that's what changes everything here and i see it does just look like a ring you could wear um, but i just see a tiny like golden ring um, developing in the hearts of the people here in this dark liquid and then i start to see um, there's a circulation between the space where the tortured souls are that become t demons that are tortured demons it's just broken souls being tortured in the spirit realm but there's like a ring of energy that circulates now back into what is like the bodies in this big lake and um continuation of the rings of people there has to be multiple dimensions of the same to create this energy to really heal the space there's a lot here okay it's easy you just get the windex clean it off but there's a lot here so we just need to keep working on it you know it's like cleaning up a hoarder house or something you'll get there you just got to keep working on it but it's not hard just take some time and some love and care all right so what what can i do to come full circle on this that's a funny thing to say because um this is a really good achievement thus far okay so this whole body that's buried it's like something wants to rise from the dead and it's jesus it's not satan you could say there's some dark influence and so so what's interesting is we can't imagine and we can't understand how it could happen with so much darkness how could darkness birth something so bright and so full of love because we want the love we've all been wanting it and that's why all of us who just want things to be a beautiful world we want to work together and we want peace all of us actually want that and our words are heard whether we directly prayed or we just spoke it silently inside it's all heard and that also matters and all that energy has been collected over generations and generations and generations and it and it comes together it collects here as a powerful source of 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 a collective longing for peace yeah for love and through great chaos is born great blessing and we have to see now that from the white house and from washington dc is born great blessing great unconditional love great angelic love do you ever go through a hard time in life but it brought out something good inside yourself so 
was it that bad and demonic and chaotic nightmare that brought about some kind of Jesus, some angelic something as the aftermath of it? Sometimes the aftermath takes time to get to the Jesus side. Sometimes we continue to go through the aftermath for a while, but it, it does birth forward blessing, okay? And that's really cool because I see coming out of the depth beneath the surface wasn't a dark being, wasn't a Satan, it was a Jesus. It was a, it's, um, I see that it's a big, it's a big deal and it's a being of pure love and that the blessings are here and don't give up, right? Don't stop seeing the light there in Washington, D.C. The light is there in, at the White House. The light is there. Don't stop seeing it. Don't to put the blinders on. The light is there. Continue to say it is. Continue to see that it is. Continue to know that it is. Continue to send love there. Continue to see Jesus is being born there, rising out from the grave. But it's like rising out from an interdimensional space, and it's the love that brings Jesus back. That it's also, you could say, the chaos that needs to be transformed into the blessing. So it's like... Um, it's also that. This really warms my heart and it makes me feel like I have fresh air to breathe. I feel like on some subconscious level I've been on a lot of sadness about politics and I just feel a bit like it's out of my hands. And I don't know why I would be influenced because there's a lot I can do with energy. And um, it sort of plants a seed of hope that I don't know that the word hope or maybe faith, but it's just a knowing, a sense of strong knowing or confidence that good things are actually happening beneath the surface. And then I'm choosing to see that like consciously and in a stronger way inside my heart because that subconscious silence like gloom and doom sense isn't there. It's just washed away. You gave that to me. You gave that to all of us by booking this session and uh, having me take a look. And please, everybody watching, share your thoughts, feelings. If you felt inspired to send love, talk about it. Um, talk about it. Let's talk about it. We're united, right? And together we're powerful when we help one another, when we, we do our best to come together and see something good and create something good. So thank you all so much for watching. I um, appreciate it and uh, wish you all an amazing rest of the day.